I'm Owen Bigline. This is the Inside Edge video blog. Okay, a couple topics on today's uh, video. Viewer mailbag here. Um, one guy had said, Owen, I see your listings a lot on, I guess, Real Estate uh, Weekly, um, on Realtor.ca, as well as my homepage here. And I see that, you know, most of your listings are very well decorated. Um, you know, we he had talked about I, on my previous blog how the market was doing well and I had been, you know, setting some multiple offers, new price records. He wondered if that had anything to do with it. Well, yes, for sure. I've done many blogs on presentation is everything. Um, how a home uh, is presented to uh, potential buyers can mean an extra 20, 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars or more into your pocket. So, you know, uh, the first step can be, you know, maybe getting a tenant out that go, that's huge right there. But after that, uh, if it's a, if it's a principal residence that I'm selling of the, of the seller, you know, maybe some decluttering, getting rid of a few pieces of furniture, uh, cleaning the unit thoroughly, uh, putting some stuff in storage, maybe some minor paint touch-ups, that kind of thing. Um, we might virtually stage some of the rooms. Uh, if it's vacant, we'll virtually stage the entire, uh, home to make it uh, really pop with the photos. This goes a long way. This is what you're paying me for. This is why you're paying a realtor twenty or $30,000 to sell a home, um, you know, to give you guidance on how to get the best selling price. Now, my sellers don't have to take every piece of advice I give them. Uh, some do, everything right down to a T. Others we maybe let slide a little bit here and there. But I usually tell them, you know, decluttering, getting rid of a few little things in the living room, doing a deep clean, putting some stuff, little paint touch-ups, you know, that might be worth another twenty or $25,000 in your final selling price. Is that worth it to you, Mr. Seller? It might take us two or three weeks to do this, maybe rent a storage locker for $300, but is it worth it to get another twenty k? The answer is always the same, for sure. I'll put in the two or three uh, weeks work, worth of work to get this home ready if it's going to sell quicker and for more money. You know, $25,000 if it's your principal residence, that's tax-free money. That's like earning $50,000. So yeah, presentation is everything. Now, it doesn't always go that way for me. Sometimes I, I do sell a home that still is tenanted. We've offered to get the tenant out, tried to use a mutual agreement to end tenancy, but it won't go. And I have to sell the home tenanted. Those generally do not show where I want them to be. They're not the best. And it usually shows, takes a little longer to sell. And, and I can guarantee to my sellers, unfortunately, we can't get the tenants out. We're leaving some money on the table. So presentation is everything. That's why when you look at my homepage here at some of my featured listings, they all show impeccably. And that's the other reason why, not all the time, but I continue to set all-time price records. I still hold many of them in various stratas in downtown Vancouver, Mount Pleasant, Kitsilano. It's not a coincidence. Sometimes, yes, I get luck on my side. It's the right unit, the right time. It's a top floor unit or has southwest exposure uh, or, you know, I don't have to do anything. My seller keeps the place absolute mint. Those are great. But oftentimes, you know, I have to work a bit with my sellers to attain that top price. And that's what you're paying a realtor for. Second thing is, I, a lot of people, this guy said, Owen, oh, can you clarify on what you talk about sometimes on my Saturday blog about Canadians just waking up and insulating yourself from any reliance on the government. Uh, what do you mean by that? What are some of the steps we should be taking? So I've done lots of Saturday blogs on this about taking matters into your own hands. Don't rely on the government, especially socialist governments for anything. They're not your friend. As a matter of fact, they are conspiring to against you in just about every way you turn now in the form of more taxes, more restrictions, bloated governments. It's crazy. So there's a whole bunch of things. I'll run, th run through them with you now here, but you know, you can start, I haven't plugged my book for a while. You know, this sh should be your door opener right here along for the ride. This is why I wrote this book. It's still a top seller on Amazon. I think it, it's rated uh, pretty close to five stars. Look at the reviews of it. I think $11 on Kindle, $20 in paperback. This will give you the roadmap of how I did it starting as a teenager. Getting your money working for you through real estate, buying your principal residence, taking advantage of that principal residence exemption, getting your maxing out your TFSA and your RRSP, 
buying high quality, low cost uh, ETFs through Vanguard and iShares, and then maybe down the road buying an investment property. Not anything, buy a good quality one bed, put a tenant in, into it, and then hang on to it for long periods of time. But you know, this is what it's all about. Insulate yourself, take matters into your own hands, start saving, paying yourself first, you can't get that money invested into low cost ETFs or high quality dividend paying equities like an Apple or a Google or a Meta. Google doesn't pay a dividend. Johnson and Johnson or a Pepsi or a Costco or a Visa. You know, the best of the best and just hang on to them, reinvest the dividends. But you've got to take matters into your own hand. The other thing I would say is treat, keep trying to get better every day. Read books go back to school, start following positive, optimistic people that you can learn from, get some good mentors in your life, get negative, pessimistic people out of your life because they're everywhere now, especially with social media. So tune out all, pretty much all the mainstream media, the six o'clock news, the Vancouver Sun, you know, commercial radio, it's all negative doom and gloom stuff uh, that you don't need you know, getting into your psyche. Stay positive, keep getting better every day. Final thing here, the uh, guy asked me, you know, he had said, he had commented, you know, there never seems to be a down market for good quality homes that are priced fair. And he's absolutely right. There isn't uh, ever a down market for high quality condos downtown that are priced right. They're not, as long as they're not overpriced in the good high quality stratas. They're always as rare as hen's teeth. I'm always uh, on a, I've got a waiting list of buyers, both end users, investors, waiting for the right unit to come up. Sometimes you might get a couple listed in a week that we can go after and have a look at. But for the most part, a lot of time, it's just a waiting game on quality units. And that's just the way it is. They're just not building a lot of stuff that's in the stratas that I want to be in. Um, and uh, they rarely ever go on sale. It's pretty much always a seller's market for the high quality stuff. Now, if you want to buy a dog unit that I always talk about that's hugging up on a bridge or a strata that needs a whole bunch of work, sure, those you know are out there and you can probably get a decent deal on them. But some cases they might not be too bad it depends you're probably not going to get the best appreciation on those strata though and you're probably going to be hit with endless levies as well so insulate yourself though as much as you can from reliance on the government they're not your friends take matters into your own hand buy your principal residence toughest part is saving for that down payment and getting qualified once you're in you've crossed a huge financial hurdle in life after that, you should be maxing out your TFSA and RRSPs, put it into low cost index funds and, uh, you know, try and get a little better every day, every week, every month and every year. Work your way up that pay scale. It's never been a better time as well to get side hustles going with technology. Start a YouTube channel or write a book. Do some consulting on the sidelines. Whatever you do, there's lots of ways to make a, a, pa or a supplementary income on top of your regular career. I'm Owen Big Len. As always, thanks for watching. See you next week.